not worked out very well for existence at all. Man, Polly made him eat the gun there. The spread of eat the gun. Sukatron, what can you get done with this USP? Right now, pushing into this box, so there's no fun. And there it is, he's gonna get eliminated, finally. No more Sukatron, no more pistol round for existence. LGB will claim themselves the alley advantage. So we've got the 1 0 for LGB. An important first round on the T side. T sides that can sometimes be difficult, as we saw from the uh, previous map. But again, this is a team who should have plans. First plan is a triple boost. Into the flames. <laughs> into the flames. <laughs> into Kyrie's flames. Assist from Rooster and Barney. Not sure if that was a tag or a nade. But whatever it was, it did the job. Oh, Kyrie. Sneaky, sneaky Kari, let's see what he can get done with this. Oh no, Kari, they're behind you. And he's gonna die. He didn't listen to me, James. If he'd listened to me, he'd be alive. Bananas are a good source, Stan, of potassium. This is true. And it's gonna be the potassium source left with Mason versus four of LGB. And he's going to take a very close look at the paintwork on this forklift. I'm not sure what he feels about it. Maybe you can tweet him if he has a Twitter about the paint job on the forklift. Or if not, then tweet Dan and tell Dan what you think of the paint job on said forklift. Also, tweet me your nutritional information about bananas. Specifically potassium. Because because just saying potassium in an arbitrary way is not... You're trying to sound smart, James. Energy, smart. Dan. It's energy. Oh, he's going to save it. No, denied. The scout coming in there to put a bit of salt in that wound, Dan. Have you ever put salt in a wound? Yes. Really? Yes. You're a pervert. All right, so Rubino going to continue with the uh, MAC-10 as we have one more eco round coming out from existence. Gonna be rocking the scout as well on the T side. Look at those glorious LGB stickers. I actually had a question on Twitter earlier, which was whether the hot rod is. Oh my god, people are calling me. <laughs> Can you hear that? What the hell's going on? Dan, commentate. I need to, I need to do something about this. All right, okay. <laughs> All right. well, it's just an eco cleanup. So how to, I don't know how to hang up the phone. Okay, do that. Oh my god. I'm gonna turn it off. I guess, I guess you guys couldn't hear that, but it's phone was vibrating a lot. Look, 3 to 0, and we do have ourselves a, a buy now from existence as they finally can exert themselves, or themselves rather, onto the map with some actual weapons. Although it's not the best loadout I've ever seen in my life, but at least PRB is still rocking the scout. That will help them a little bit. When Kyrie gets the AWP, of course, that's when we're going to start to see the real, the real business. But it's going to be the. Uh, very fast timing here from LGB straight into the A site. No nays, just straight on in. Mason, can he get anything done here with this M4? He will pick up one frag, switches to the USP very quickly, very promptly. But it's Kyrie to come in with a spray down, takes down two players. And now it's going to be a three on two existence with the fast retake in onto that bomb site. Can the bomb even be planted? Ruben who's under lots of pressure, last man standing. He does have a Molotov in his hands, but uh, he's going to get much done with that now as he turns the corner and Kyrie will end him. It's a nice round there by Existence to reclaim some monies. In the words of Method Man, if you're going to give it to me, give it to me raw. They just went in there with no warning, Dan. No nades. I think Method Man meant it in the same way, James. No nades, nothing. They just went in there. Surprise. But it didn't work out for them. Existence take it at a considerable cost. We can see that Mason stuck with the uh, FAMAS as is Musambani. But they've still got a reasonable amount of nades here. Three kits as well. So not doing terrible on the existence side. You see uh, Rubino reduced to the Tech-9. And he will be carrying the bomb as well. With a nice uh, side profile of Moose and Bonnie there getting executed. Not very precise. Necessary one. Since losing all the guns at the moment. And this is a really, really bad round for them to lose. After just picking one up, spending all their money again. They're going to get reset with double eco here and they lose this. And right now it's looking like they're not just losing it. They're going to be completely crushed. So, uh, well, bodies and checkers.
Right. Christ. Have you noticed how dirty the checkers room is? Like it's just it's actually. I, I was admiring the AK. It's overgrown with grass and moss. The red line looks so nice with those stickers on. But I have a case hardened to that. But I was asking Twitter if they thought the new Silence M4 hot rod was hot or not. But someone's gonna have to put some LGB stickers on it. And then we will see. But for now, it's 4-1 LGB, so an excellent start on the T side here. Existence have been broken, like the bat. Only, uh... Okay, well, oh! That was quite interesting. That jump, though, was really nice by Ruben. GG's. Yeah, I haven't seen that before. And didn't work out. Complete clear up for the LGB side. 5-1. When would you ever expect to see, like, five guys there? Four guys? Not ever, to be honest with you. Kind of crazy. Nice idea. Look at the money, and they, they stand to make even more here. They are they are running a profitable enterprise, RLGB. All right, so let's see what the plan is on this occasion. Curious to see if they're gonna continue storming sites as well. It's kind of fun to watch actually, when you just see uh, brazen assaults such as that. Rubino gonna be keeping an eye on mid, making sure these uh, CTs. I'm not going to any crazy flanks, and here comes the push on the bomb side. It's spray down, going to take down two people. Mason unable to get the trade there, and it's going to be another clean round unless Flippin can do something. He's got the CZ. There's one frag for him. Instantly traded by Mystic, and LGB extend their lead. Open carry, please, 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 no. Well, maybe he'll swap. Maybe uh, yeah, there we go. Sucatron's going to get it, and he can swap it with. Parry, maybe? Or is would he play B with it? We'll have to see what Sucatron will do with the AWP. But at the moment, uh, okay, he's going to go A. Interesting. So perhaps Kari is not supposed to be their uh, their main AWPer on A, or perhaps he's the secondary AWPer on cash for them. We'll have to see. But they do have a potential here to... Uh, oh, dear. We got wow. this, is the, this is the round we're talking about, actually. They can either fake into B, B split, which is it looks like what they are... Uh, actually going to go for here. Yeah, they, they've completely faked them here. Or actually, no, they've actually got the bomb towards A main still, so they're they're faking the fake, James. I like the sneaky position from the AWPer standing on the uh, the lamp on the A site, which would help him if the smokes come in as well. But it's going to be Rubino opening things up onto the B bomb site. And that is a clear B bomb site. It's causing the rotation from existence, but maybe the uh, T's have pushed out too fast as so the bomb is being taken down towards A. Jacob gonna get the trade, and it's gonna be Kairi versus two, and he's out of position. I don't know if LGB know where he is, but let's have a look at the kind of post-plant setup they have. One into Squeaky, and I think one is on the uh, boost box just next to it. Yeah, this is gonna be pretty tough, and one of them has an AWP as well. It's Polly, uh, no less. Okay, so here Kairi goes. He's got a full fast kill there. Now they weren't playing the trade, so. Be. Oh, he spotted the last one. Does he have any nades? No, he doesn't. If he's just going to go for the hold here, looks like he might just be doing that. Oh, no! Oh, he's going to get the round! And Polly's now in trouble because if Kyrie went in for the kill, then, of course, killing him off the time would be quite nice. He would claim the orb, but never mind. James, LGB made that way too complicated. They, they did a double fake. They did a double fake. Um, it, it may be because they were saying, okay, maybe Existence were watching us play earlier. They saw us do that, that play into the fake. And they had the B bomb site free if they just gone out of all the if they gone there with all the players. That's the round for sure. So existence double their score. Much work for them to do here. I mean it's gonna be the CTs in control of the mid area. And they're not gonna be challenged just yet. Okay, so we'll have to see if uh, we get any aggressions over the top and mid, any delayed mid takes. Very nice position from Kyrie there. He's quite committed, but if you if there's just one guy going over the top, you only need to get the surprise once. And uh, some bonnies playing with him. So it's a very good angle. Polly easily taken down. And he was trying to get the pick into mid. So this round is looking quite difficult here for LGB at the moment. They might just have to go in and just try to get the entries with the nades down after the smoke does go away. But uh, Mason's in a good position as well. It really feels like Existence have a big advantage on the defense over, uh, across the board. POB's just trying to keep the presence here. So the rotation from B 
and uh, allow this 2v3 to happen towards the A site, but Mason gets the kill from the boost box as it's going to be one more player to challenge. Rubino goes down, the bomb goes down, and PRB is on the save, or trying to, well, save the round. Oh, that sound cue could... Oh, Sukutron, unfortunately, doesn't have a flash. Otherwise, that would have been uh, potentially a free kill for Mason, for Mason, but he'll get the free kill anyway. So, could this be the start of some momentum here for the Spanish side? Another round in the bag, and LGB's money starting to deplete, although they still have a fair chunk left after this buy. And it's still the uh, CT side struggling, despite the victorious round. Gonna have a bunch of nades in the bag, and again, going for three kits... So that seems very deliberate indeed. Some economy management there. I want to be looking for Shokanor again this time, but towards the B-bomb side as opposed to A. They want to catch Slippin before he can uh, get behind some cover. But two quick frags coming in for Exist. It's going to make things easier on the retake should it be required. Okay, we do have uh, Polly watching over checkers. It's going to be... Sixtron making his way through, slowly but surely they can mount a nice retake attempt because there's only two players left, Mystic has no HP, he's gonna take the he headshot off onto uh, Moose and Barney, Mason, uh oh, oh no he messes off the grenade, Mystic stuck on the bomb side at the moment, Polly how does he get onto the bomb site, he could try to chuck the bomb across, is that site for his teammate to pick up? Exist and set up a perimeter around, and they are going to spot all the players moving onto the site now, so they can close on in and allow the bomb plant to happen. This is a smart move. Give the money to LGB, make sure the rounds can be won with as many players alive as possible. Oh dear, they are not so synchronized, and that's going to cause issues. It's now Mystic on headshot against the last player, and he's going to get it done. Excellently done there by the remainder of LGB, but this is... Uh, Pretty ridiculous. Existence should have been able to take that round. They didn't coordinate properly, and now they are suffering the consequences. Mystic finding the headshot with all of 5 HP as well. Nice clutch by him. In the headshot position, somewhat ironically. So, going to be Existence on the Eco once again. And now LGB have a real opportunity on their hands to run away with this map. Bit of tagging happening in mid. And they're going to have multiple people peeking. Nice spray down by JK, but he's going to need more support as there are more CTs to fight. He is hunting them like a rabid dog. They're all going to get cleaned up. Two frags for Existence, but it's another round in the bag for LGB. You can see uh, Exist Existence will go for the buy, but again, they're going to have nothing left in the bank after this. If they lose this round, then you might as well close the bank. Yeah, we never see, we've never seen them with actual economy, to be honest. Um, those three, three rounds, that's, that's all actually against buys, I think. They've never been able to even... Uh, break LGB's economy and, and you know force them into an ecoing spot. And again, we get this uh, this telegraphed execute onto Way. Now, do they go for the fake or do they just go for the execute? Looks like they're just going to go for the execute, actually, for a very fast execute all through Squeaky Door, uh, mostly at least. And oh, they're going to get sprayed down. Potentially, Mason in a great position. That takes one frag, but the trade comes in and existence. Looking for a fast push back onto the retake. They've got a man in A main already. This could be massive right now. Kyrie moving in behind the smoke. Oh, oh there it is. Barely gets the frag onto Mystic. As Moose and Barney comes in from over the top. And that's going to be the frag onto Polly as well. So things are looking too bad here in this one on one. And Flippin will save the day. But Can they make this seven rounds? Yeah, but look at the cost to existence. Only Flippin surviving. And uh, the, the money was rapey at the start of this round for them. Despite the victory, they're all going to have to rebuy. You see that uh, 3,800 bonus money. And we can see things are going to be hard for them here. Going for the helmets, which will limit some of the uh, players from what else they can buy. You can see the FAMAS is coming out instead of the M4s, etc. So, uh, trying times here for existence inside. But again, they could, this could still end up being 8-7, so not out of it yet. PRB trying to get a timing pick there through the walls and the blades. We've seen Chris J get double headshot with a scout through that thing, so... Always worth a uh, little tap or two. Probably going to get taken out, reaching the smoke by flipping. Good start for the CT side. This is another frag for them, but unfortunately it's going to be PRB taking down Kyrie instead. And Barney is soon to follow. So, existence getting sent straight to the grave at the moment, but they've traded, and now it's three versus three. 
Minutes on the clock for LGB, and they're all together towards B. And there's only one person here to mount a defense. It's going to be a long rotation for existence. Sukatron has already started to move in uh, Flippin's direction, but can he get there in time? Only gets one frag. They're both pretty low, though, actually. So even though the bomb will go down, this retake is very, very possible. They have a flash each as well, so if they place them well and move in together, they should be able to make this work. Now the uh, Molotov is ready. And that's PRB trying to bait Sukatron into the other area. But the Mason going to flash himself in. And uh, the delay on the CT spawn is causing issues here. They need to come in together. And now we do have Mason and Sukatron trying to get it done here. Jake him on the angle. Misses the shot. And they're both on the same angle. Sukatron will spray them both down. And it's going to be the defuse here. Uh, yeah, it should be okay with this without a kit. And, uh, well... Another round for existence, and indeed, they might be close to breaking LGB, but with this bomb plant, it's probably a couple rounds away, which, which is, uh, well, at the end of the first half. Let's have a look. Yeah. Again, if they get a bomb plant here also, it's probably going to be a situation where they can just put in a force buy, which would be pretty respectable. So, um, as they will have, what, there will be a third loss in a row, so it will be 2400 plus the 800. So, yeah, they'll be able to actually force buy and do an execute with Tech 9 armor. If they, if they lose this one, so if they get the bomb down only, though. All right, so we've got uh, some presence towards A so far for the T's, but look at the aggression here from uh, Musan Bani. He's already got an angle through towards A main, but he needs to be careful. Uh, there is somebody squeaky uh, as well, and Mason's going to get the first pick onto Mystic. Sounded like a very fast frag indeed. Polly stuck, but unfortunately that smoke will allow him to escape. Significant presence in mid here from existence. That nade gonna just bounce past Polly. He's left with 32 HP. Misses the uh, flash. Gonna get one frag. Insta trade from Musan Barney. Yeah. Okay, no one's there to flash Mason. He's just gonna walk in. That is very brave indeed, and he's gonna get traded on. And, well, it's a very risky play here. And Sukatron, I don't think the ladder was heard by LGB, but he's gonna need to absolutely pick up a frag here. Now they're going to be on his position. He gets the fast headshot of Rubino. Just has to wait for his teammate now and try not to get fragged. If he can create that 2v1 situation, they should be fine. And in comes Kari from the back. There's Yang. Oh, Dude, hits the shot, PRB. Going to hit the ground. And Existence now going to get the uh, situation where, hey, the bomb was not planted. So LGB are going to have the ability to buy Tech 9 armor and nades. Um, but no AK, apart from one, from JKM. So it's not too horrendous. But this is as close to an eco as we've seen from LGB, basically. Alright, so let's see what uh, both these teams have to offer in the final round. LGB rocking one AK, and that's about that. You see that fast smoke into B tunnels that a lot of teams do. All that nade's going to be money into A main. There's going to be a fast rush here from LGB. They need, they, need, they need to close the distance and use the numbers game to their advantage. So far, so good. Two frags for the Norwegian side. Trey's coming in with nades for both teams. Three versus three. Existence trying to uh, retake the side, but those are two massive frags for Jacob. He's been such an important player across the two maps for LGB. It's Kyrie versus two now. He is the beast with the AWP, and there's the first shot onto Jacob. Just PRB left alive. Now there's a slight amount of time for him to work with, but PRB will get taken down by Kyrie. You can always rely on him, and he does have just enough time to pick up the seventh round. And LGB, I mean, they had. A really good half here. They had existence money screwed. For st it felt like the entire half, there was not a single time apart from that last round, which, I mean, that wasn't even really an eco. Existence didn't get to win any rounds against Ecos, James. And the bomb went down so many times. They lost players so many times. To actually pick up seven rounds is, to be honest, quite respectable, to say the least. So who is your money on now in the second half? Now we have the evidence of existence. the first half. Are going for existence? I'm going for existence. All right. Who are you going for? I'm not going for anyone. I'm a mere observer. I'm a fly on the wall, Dan. Then give me that bollocks, James. I'm a weapons inspector. I'm of no opinion. I just want to see the evidence. <laughs> All right. So we have uh, a quick push into the bomb site right now and uh, playing against that metal a little bit. As big, big task to be done here by both sides to pick up this pistol round and it's going to be LGB who have a significant advantage and Kari has to clutch again but this time he's on 12 HP 
and he's playing as two players with Kevlar and full HP. It's not going to happen. Mystic picks up the kill, and LGB will be able to start with economic control again. So Existence consistently having to fight again in an uphill struggle. The entire time, James, they've been fighting against the tides uphill. Against the tides uphill? Yeah. I don't think... Uphill tides, James. Have you ever tried that? Oh, I know. Yeah. I don't think I have. Where can I, where can I um, have this experience? Okay, so LGB with a two round advantage. And it's going to be Existence going for the force here. Sukatron with the D. Four tech nine. A bunch of flashes and a smoke, but look at the aggression from LGB pushing through a main, closing down the map unbeknownst to Existence. It is a double edged sword though, as they do risk losing a weapon. However, Sukatron is going to be tagged down to 10. And uh, Polly is going nowhere. He's rolling there with a P2. Uh, P2. A P90, Dan. A P90. And he's lost it. Maybe he went to the well one too many times. But then he had to execute Mystic. Existence with a great round so far. Oh no! It's big damage done to Jcam. He's going to fall as well. DRB now going to be tapping him down long range. <laughs> MP7, my goodness. It's turned around very quickly. Even though with the P90 as well. They're rushing in for that B plant. They will get it. But they will be under immediate pressure of the CTs. There's not much in the way of grenades. Mason should really toss one in now to try to get some delay because they have been beaten to the punch, James. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. The P90 coming in to do some work. P90 versus P90. So we have an MP7 in cameo appearance. Oh, That's a nice. very nice flash. And he basically puts himself into a 1v1. And he can defend the bomb plant from the uh, checkers area as well. Rubino going for the fake here. Mason is going to get taken out. Rumor has it, Dan, that the Asimov P90 does plus 25 damage. Serious. Wow, that's actually sick because he didn't have a kit as well. well that's a okay, the thing about this round is that Existence need to buy again now. They have to full buy. They have to throw everything in. Don't be, don't be wimps. Oh, none of this half ass stuff, James. Where's the full buy? Dan, you sound frustrated. Would you like a hug? Not that I'm offering one. I just want them to, because, I don't know, they could, they could definitely break the economy of LGB here. It depends if they have executes. It depends, it really depends. It really depends. It also depends on like the style of play they have, like what they want to go in, but go in with, but it's gonna be probably pushed in the storage, picks up a fast frag, and uh, existence are left with uh, not much in the way of damage here. This is the problem, is that now they have allowed LGB situation where they can build some money, James. But both teams are making reads here. LGB put extra bodies towards A, expecting that all the T's would be there, but Existence seemingly reading this are moving the remaining players back towards B. But now LGB pushing A, and they pushed B earlier, now they're pushing A, so they have the information, and they will be able to put their team in position. Two players heavily tagged here for the CT side over towards the B bomb site. So LGB need to get that rotation in fast, and they will lose zero players in that round. Four round advantage now. And existence will finally bring out the buy. Yeah, it's it's really important for them to get a, a win here because they need to keep the economy accountable for LGB. Uh, if LGB gets to a position where they have a good economy all the time, then then existence will not be able to bring back the the uh, disadvantage into an and make it into an advantage. They have to take economic control. It's so crucial. If LGB are kept off the AWPs, they're kept off of their uh, ideal setups. Then that's that is a climax that existence can thrive in. We have the uh, I think the boost up in A main that you don't see that incredibly commonly anymore. It used to be very very prevalent actually. But uh, I think I'm gonna get a second kill here. This is really good work so far for existence. Third one v one coming up and he wow. wins it again, single handedly destroying LGB in this round. Another one potentially here as he pulls out his weapon, but he's gonna look the wrong way. Oh my goodness! Yeah, the. Uh, P90 of JKM will claim two lives, but it's just uh, PRB left. And this is still a good survival here if no more extra damage can be done. And indeed, some Barney will clean it up and uh, Existence will uh, rid LGB of all their weapons. And now LGB in a weird spot where they kind of... It's like, should we buy? Should we not buy? Should we go halfway? And they're going to go halfway here, get the pistol armor in here. And this, is, of course, is going to allow them to get the, uh, the buy up in the following rounds where they have uh, the $1,900. So they'll all be around like 5K, 5.5K. And uh, they'll be able to get orbs as well. This is where our existence can start to take control of the map again. And, uh, I'm curious what LG will do in the next fight. If they'll if they'll play uh, just a standard round, or if they'll go a little bit proactive. 
So existence looking for information at the moment. Not going to do anything crazy. Don't want to get isolated versus multiple guns, but we may just see that happen towards the B bomb site here if a pop flash comes in from LGB. They have all of two flashbangs to use, so they're going to want to use them at the right time. Flash coming in from the site itself, and they're going to find the first frag. They have the A main push as well, so A main is completely dominated by LGB. They know everything that's going on, but they don't have the firepower to deal with it, James. Yeah. Information's all good, but if you don't have a cannon to go with it, then it may all be for nothing. Yeah, I mean, there's uh, ooh, a player in Locker's position. Uh, let's see if they check it. If they don't check it, it's going to get messy, but there it is. They get to check. And uh, that's that's the most dangerous thing out the way with. But JKM, JKM's pretty uh, dangerous as well. Oh my god. Almost with a third kill there. Had he just connected with the third head. It's going to make it a one on two here. Very doable for Rubino. He's got armor, he's got no hits, but there's the first player. Bomb goes down. And Mason, he cannot let existence falter here. Rubino looking for his assailant. It's going to be the backstab there. Mason, good stuff. Just able to uh, win that 50 50, which it often comes down to. Rubino's like, okay, does he, does he go right or did he go left? you got to commit to one or the other. That bomb plant position um, where you often find CTs on the force is so strong. That's the position that wrecked Kinguin when they uh, pushed into the stack. Oh, right, and, right, right. And again, like almost every game of cash, you see someone there with a 5-7 or a CZ getting a ton of kills as, uh, because you basically, it affords you a 1v1 situation very, very quickly indeed. And from that range, the one tap will be real. That nade coming in just a second too early to uh, do significant damage here to Polly, but he's gonna survive with under 10 HP here. Important frag for the team, and that will make existence a bit paranoid, might slow them down. And we may see a boost of the run. We've got three people outside the boost spot here for existence. And uh, they don't really have much control of the map or presence towards either side at the moment. Yeah, it's uh, definitely a interesting situation. LGB is smart to claim an early advantage at the cost almost of the life of Polly, but they, they didn't lose him, and that's the key difference. So the delayed mid take will come in here from uh, Moose and Barney. Now, LGB are playing it safe. They've completely evacuated middle, and they are relying on their strong setups to team play setups on the bomb sites themselves as the uh, nades will come over the top into the A bomb site and they're going to take the bomb I think towards B potentially here and the rotation is slowly coming in now Kari has to sell this he's got to sell this with the player on squeaky and indeed flipping and Kari are really going to sell it right now because they have the bomb site under control and they're actually uh, putting all the frags in we have only PRB here he's going to spot the Cross with that bomb and oh the spray coming in can't quite finish him off but the bomb has been spotted rotation coming back in Kairi is on the lurk now and they need to get that bomb down it will finally be planted but Moose and Barney and Kairi have a lot of work to do to save this now they're at man disadvantage and Kairi is very out of position indeed he's gonna have to try and rush to the site to get there to help his teammate trades coming in from PRB they don't know where Kairi is for all they know he could be on the site, but the defuse attempt is coming in and he's gonna have cover. <gasps> oh, can he get it in oh! time? Indeed he does, but the trade comes in and PRB, oh, no he has a kit, so he's gonna run away. This is a disaster for LGB. Existence going to bring it to 10-11. Can PRB get away to survive? Yes, he can, but what a nice swing there by the final player to avoid the trade killer and get the diffuser. And we can see how important that was. If the round had been won by LGB, they're all going to have around 3k, uh, sorry, 5k dollars, uh, 5 to 5.k dollars, and then they're going to have a good buy. Now they're on the eco, and the difference for existence is that they can have a full buy. Now they have no money. So if they are able to, if they actually lose this round, LGB have momentum back again. Um, of course, th it's very unlikely that they will win this round, but but they basically can break existence, take a very significant lead. So uh, a main push here from LGB again with the pistols. And again, the anti-eco setup here from Existence. Very passive, using the ranges, staying together. If Existence can string a bit of momentum together here, then maybe we go to zero. But again, they have to make sure they leave themselves with enough time to clear areas and Kari might need a trade fragger here because we have advanced positions from multiple CTs. I'm not gonna check a main just yet. 
here it comes. So there's a spray down. He's left with 7 HP though. He's going to need help here. We still have Rubino in the locker position. So depending on who goes through A main, he may get one or two frags. And Sukatron, he just about gets the frag onto Rubino. And a push should come in here. DRB looking for the spray down. Going to get two. Almost gets a third, but not to be. Shekem changes up his position on the site again with that pistol. Just peeking and prodding, but he's going to get taken out finally. So, Holly was in, had a good opportunity as the two remaining players were heavily tagged, but existence managed to survive. Well, they, th what they did there was enough damage, basically. LGB got three kills. This is going to put enough economic stress on existence, as we can see, that they actually don't have any money anymore. They spent everything. They had to spend everything to... Uh, to get that buy-in. So LGB, once again, they've positioned themselves where if they break them now, with the open play, it's, existence pretty much have to double each other. It, that's, that's the reality for them. So we're gonna see if Harry can get a pick here. Indeed, Holly is gonna go down. That's a massive play for existence. And let's not forget, that's 20 seconds into the round. Oh no, Kyrie gets another one. Both players on B killed by Kyrie. This guy has been really performing for his team. And now they're just gonna push in, hold the positions, get the bomb over there as well. Five on three, LGB sh should probably save here. It's another one down for LGB. So time's definitely looking quite hard for the Norwegian side. Flippin and Kyrie having great individual performances here across both maps. And it may be what takes existence over the line We'll have to see if LGB can hold eventually. So, all these players being taken down but by uh, the existence side. Just down to Mystic to try and save this gun, but the hunt is on. It's a second frag for him. So again, he's going to be doing the economical pressure in a round where he's pretty much guaranteed to lose. Almost gets a third one as well, but Kari will find that frag. So, existence take the lead on the T side. And the money of LGB is uh, quite ropey indeed. They're actually going for a pause here, and I imagine it's probably a tactical timeout because they're in a spot where they can lose the series. And this is a pretty important match for them. Oh, okay, Jacob timed out. But they can also use it as a tactical timeout. They James. can indeed. Okay, so what, would you, what do you think that they need to change here? Because if we go back to that last round that they lost, basically two guys one-on-one -on -one to Kyrie, and they both lost the one-on-ones, then the round was over. So that's the kind of gamble that they took, and it didn't, didn't work out. So that's kind of one of those spots where it's like, well, the adjustment is don't try to play one-on-ones into, you know, str like straight up one-on-ones, where you don't have an advantage or the opportunity to just straight up trade. At the very least, that like should be the, the default requirement. Um, I mean, I guess it's different if it's like through smoke or you have an AWP or something, but that's an advantage having an AWP against the AK or something. Yeah, so well, it, well, if you see those picks came in very early indeed from the B bomb site, but if you look at the way, say, Titan can often play there where you have existence in headshot and RPK playing checkers, then it, they're in a position where um, existence can throw the pop flash in for RPK to peek from checkers, and you know, it's a lot safer play. And if they try and to a lot go less for RPK volatile. and there's no flash, uh, existence has a really sick angle. Yeah. Always, so you'll always be able to spot for RPK. Exactly, and you'll well. see so them first safe. run distraction and so on. So, yeah. so I think I think maybe there are more solid setups they can have on the B bomb site as opposed to what they might be doing now, where Kari is finding engagements very early on in the round. Where normally, you, I mean, we've seen we've seen. I think it was the existence players when they were on the CT side. We saw them running up the slope, bouncing that smoke off the wall to you know, play the round passive as soon as possible. Essentially, mm. so maybe more passive play towards B bomb site might be in order for them. Yeah, that's definitely been a bit of a leak. Um, it seems like just generally across the board, we're having existence just edging out over the picks here, especially towards A. But the thing is that they've kind of put the their opponents in the same situation that they're in, which is just they they always feel like they have to take risks or because they kind of do because they have a, a weapon disadvantage because their money's been screwed again time and time again. Uh, the thing is, is that we're in a spot now that um, it's been going quite well for. LGB, as far as the situation goes, when they're putting damage onto their opponents, they're putting them in a position where as soon as they do actually win this buy round, then they can get the control back straight away. But it's not been like that yet. They have they have a situation where they can't quite clinch it. So again, it's, it's great to be in that position, but if you can never win the rounds to actually capitalize on it, then it's of course all for naught. So they need to find a way to make that happen. And this is another round where they're playing for damage here. They need at least three to four frags to make this, uh, to keep the economic damage 
um, up to again. We've got two CTs in the smoke trying to hide, but I think they've been spotted here. The spray's coming down. So There's one, but uh, Sukatron needs to reload. Reloads in time to save his teammate. No frags yet for the LGB side. We've got two, three players heavily tagged for existence, but with only PRB and Jacob remaining, only Jacob remaining then uh, there's not a lot he could potentially get done here. No guns for him to pick up, save for the scout. And he's stuck on the B-bomb site, and they're looking for him already. Was it the Captain Obvious smoke there? Hmm. There's a smoke in yeah, the middle of mid. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what this could be. <laughs> so Jacob will pick up a single kill, but it's it, again, it, they needed at least three kills there. As we can now see, Existence's money is quite quite good and this puts LGB in a spot where if they don't win this round James they need to eco and then win and then if not they lose so that's where it will just come down to the last few rounds now. well they're changing things up by putting three people in the B bomb site so they don't have these engagements still Jake with a very advanced position and it's the T's who are throwing the smokes in but Jake will have a gap to play with and uh this may not be profitable for Team LGB. Oh! That three-man spray down though is going to change everything as it's almost only Mystic on the site, but he's going to completely ruin the push from existence. They had three people oh down, my God. three people on B, and he got a three-man spray down to hold down A. That's ridiculous. That's the one perfect position that could have, could, have, could have actually countered that, and they had it. They had the pocket aces. Oh, no. Oh, no. Gonna have to clean up here. That's that situation, James. We're playing like tournament poker, right? You're on the big blinds. You've got like, I don't know, you've got 10 big blinds or something, and like the, the guy with like 40 big blinds who's uh, a couple of positions behind you on the button. He's, gonna, he's just, gonna, just gonna press you out, James. But you've got the pocket aces, you're gonna snap call that. Man, that's not aces. That's when you flop a straight flush. Someone's made three of a kind. Everyone checks. The next card comes down, and two people make a full house stand. That's what that is. <laughs> that's when you sweep up. <laughs> Right. That's when Adila says, seat open, seat open, seat open. <laughs> right, so one round advantage now for Existence. They've still got a full buyout, all the nades, etc. Such an important round from LGB for their economy as well as their general survival. We are in the jungle. And there are no friends. Ooh, bit of a spray down. Pro possibly uh, Dink flipping there. Although I didn't hear the sound. But he's only got 33 HP remaining. Lots of Spaniards heading towards the A site at the moment. It looks like they're setting up for a set play with the smokes. When LGB did this, they had one player in A main itself. Whereas it will be the full rotation into the site from outside for existence. But LGB not close enough to uh, get the pop flash in and try and take control of it. So... Existence playing the waiting game, looking for a specific timing. Here come the smokes, and then the rotation will begin. Three players there for LGB, though. It's going to require excellent entries from Existence. Nothing less than. And it's, uh, it's just going to be about the raw angels, and boom! Polly and Rubino take two lives straight away. And LGB have a big issue on their hands now as they are committed into this play. And they are getting absolutely wrecked. It's perfect timing for LGB to come back into the game to try to save this. And Moose and Barney now, well, he may be the general. He may have many Spaniards at his command. But not in this round. He's lone agent, and he won't be able to do much other than save his AK. So uh, this is breaking existence. And finally, LGB got over that hump. They kept the economy down. Uh, pretty pretty well for the majority of the time. They that one spray down. Who was it that got the spray down? Was it uh, Jacob? It was Jesus, Dan. It was Jesus. The Norwegian Jesus. Jesus with a three-man spray down <laughs> on the e <-cash. laughs> Um Well, that that basically that put them in a game-winning position now. Map-winning position. That and single spray down. And again, they've gone for three towards the bomb site. Polly gets his head snapped, but they're not going to check the box. That's going to be one frag for Jake. Can he get traded? Yes. But it's still a fair event, has been spotted, and he's not going to get bettered by the Tech 9. All the Norwegian players coming through the event like it's Metal Gear Solid for the save. One round advantage for Team LGB. And they are going to be looking for the W here. They're going to be looking for this to go three maps. Another buy coming out for existence. This is do or die now. Oh, pause. Pause comes in just in time. So you could try 
has bought armor, but maybe they're discussing whether they should approach with the orc or take another AK and nades. As they all seem to be ready to go, so I do think this is a tactical pause. It's crunch time here. We are on a clutch region of the map, and they want the W. And indeed, Sucatron does have an internet problem. And it's not a tactical pause at all, Dan. No Funnily one enough, normally... I, yeah, Except in tournaments, land tournaments. Uh, exactly, I was going to say, yeah. At Face It Land, for example, we had a bunch of tactical pauses. But online, nobody gives a crap. We, get, we gave a rule, didn't we? So we said one pause per map. Right? Wasn't it? It was one pause or two pauses. Like one pause per and half. I think, half that would I think we gave them... I think we gave them... I can't remember ex the exact detail, but I think we gave them like two minutes of pause or something. So, but I'm wondering what the average is across different organisations. I feel like uh, it's cool to give people reasonable pauses because we're playing for a lot of money here, Dan. Well, it's 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 a sport, James. It's like an esport. There should be pauses possible. It's not basketball. We're not going to go crazy. Where it's like the game is like you know flowing, flowing, and they get, you get to like the last minute. It's like time out, time out, time out, James, time outs. Those are timeouts. But it's, this is not basketball. Okay, but I do believe that it does definitely have a place because we want to, it encourages strategic thought. It encourages teams settling down, recomposing themselves. It encourages the coach able to actually put input in that's valuable, stuff that they've seen across the map, stuff that they're like, okay, this is the play we, we've been thinking about. We've been trying, trying it to, you know, in practice. It's, it's experimental. Maybe this is a good time to use it. Maybe this is the time when the coach can step in or a player that normally wouldn't speak can, can speak to his team and give some valuable input into what's going on in the match that you don't have time to do when the match is really going on because everyone's focused. You're listening to the in-game leader or whoever else is supposed to give input and you don't want to mess with that dynamic because if, if you... The communication is really important, and the uh, the integrity of the communication is very important in the team. So I think tactical pauses are really, really underused and important. We need more of them. Yes. Why are you being so weird, James? Apparently, all of the Spanish players have an issue now. Everyone. Spain has an issue, Dan. I always find actually that um, if I'm playing from the UK, which is where I'm always playing from, apart from when I'm at DreamHack, um, <laughs> there's, my screen just went black, there's uh, Spanish players always have, like when I play with them, they always have larger pings, or it's harder to shoot them than other players. Because when we, when we scrim, w when we do like IRC scrims and we play Spanish teams, there's always higher pings than with other teams. That's what I find anyway. Wait a minute. I'm talking about Street Fighter, not Counter Strike. When I play we Spanish we players, when I play Spanish players on Street Fighter 4 on Xbox, it's it's laggy. Nothing to do with Counter Strike. That was completely. Well, you know that that the internet doesn't change based on the game that you play. I'm not suggesting it does, I but mean, that the was the netcode changes, of course. Well, I can tell you, Dan, is my experience. Well, the netcode in okay. Street Fighter is, is just crap. Like it's just terrible. Better than most games, fighting it's, games. It's terrible. GGPO, please. Where's the GGPO netcode, James? Don't ask me. It's not my jurisdiction. All right, well. I think we need to resume shortly. Yeah, I hope so. We could have we, we like kept talking about, you know, tactical timeouts and stuff like that, but you just like didn't put any well input in there. You just, just like, okay, Dad. Well, you said quite a lot about it, so I thought that was Yeah, enough. I gave my thoughts on it. I thought that was enough. 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 Okay, then. I like you anymore. It was a lot. Of, it was a lot of thoughts, Dan. I don't know. I mean, my thoughts are generally shorter than yours, so I didn't want to to extend it further. I thought you said quite. So you have enough. no. You have, okay. Right. No what? What? Well, you could have put in your input as well. It's kind of how how discussions work, James. Well, unless, I did. Unless you were discussing with Thorin, and then you're just like, well, Thorin has decreed this, this, and that. Therefore, it is so. have uh, push coming in towards B storage, so Existence is looking at a very fast engagement. Nice, we'll slow them down just a little bit, but they're not deterred by this. JKM, oh, he's going to be able to capitalize massively on the flash timing, which was perfect, spot on. 
as Mason did jump into the checkers area. So now they're going to cancel this push and go to another plan. A plan B, perhaps. I'll have to see if uh, LGB go for any information plays. They have the advantage at this point, and so they have decided to play it safe and try and see if they can just force a mistake from their opponents instead of playing into uh, into their hands. But we've got Curry alone with the bomb here towards B storage at the moment. And uh, he's still actually just there and he might get spotted. And he's got to be careful about that because if the bomb gets spotted, it's going to give up the game here. They'll know that it's going to be a B push. Jacob's in a position to just shut this round down. They're not going to check the close spot, and he is going to just maul them completely. Two frags for Jacob. The bomb spotted at two versus four. Now existence in trouble. LGB, if they win this one, they're going to be on map point. It's flipping from mid. Picks up one frag. Three players here. There's no time to rotate. They've got to make it happen on B. LGB just holding angles. Bomb is back on the floor. 13 seconds on the clock, and that's going to be the round and match point here for LGB. You can see they're happy about that, but it's not over yet. Despite the uh, difficult situation, existence now find themselves in. Two gills and three tick nines. A bunch of nades, and they're going to put the bodies towards A. And this boost could just entirely kill them. That could be the GG move right there. But in they go. Flipping going to find the back of Mystic, but they need to get this done. They will make the call there. And it's a nice frag, but it's going to leave things onto Kyrie. He's been a bit of a clutch meister here for his team so far. He's going to switch for the M4 and actually back away. This is so smart right now because this will give him a lot of opportunity to rotate and split up these two players. So Kyrie needs to be on the enormous clutch mode right now because he can absolutely make this happen and force this to an overtime. And this is... Star Series. So if it is overtime, it's MR3 16K. Okay, so LGB... Playing the traits, it looks like. Waiting, wondering. Waiting and wondering. I like that approach, though. Not splitting up, just saying, okay, well, you can have the plant. It's not about the money right now, James. It's about winning the rounds. And so they're doing the, the smartest thing to win the rounds by sticking together. All right, so how are they going to approach this? And how does Kyrie save himself from being traded? In fact, he just completely exited the area. But uh, we'll see if we can have another sweep past the trade fragger. Uh oh, this, he's, oh no, he might be taking too long here. Kyrie's got to go around. Oh, he's looking at the wrong player. Oh dear, they're both blinded as well. And that's going to be it. LGB will claim map number two, 16 to, th to 13. And that will push us to a Mirage Decider. Um... I don't know how to call this because I think existence are pretty solid on Mirage, just as LGB are as well. So, yeah, well, Kyrie and Flippin though, uh, I think they LGB need to stop them from getting the orc frags and just tearing up sites on this map. Otherwise, LGB might be in trouble. But then, who knows? The same could be said 